Wow. Oh. <laughs> Hey up Chatter Gang, thank you for clicking on this video and welcome to the British Summer. And we're visiting Blackpool Zoo. We'll do as much filming as we can, but it's absolutely pouring. And we're sort wet through already. But we'll show you around because he's Colin. He's Tim. And, and together, together we, we are the Chatter Guys. guys. Come on, let's get showing you. We did struggle to find out the right bus to get to the zoo, but it's quite simple when we found out. It's bus number 22, and you'll get that from opposite Weatherspoons and Spyglass, and they're about roughly every 20, 30, 40 minutes. Front so I'm learning his back up on test. I will show you guys just how big those front flappers are. And hopefully you guys can see the genus flippers that are very big indeed. About the size of my forearm, so from my elbow all the way down to my fingertips. A seal flippers are only about the size of So you can see Gina, I would use her flippers to clean her whiskers. As I said as well, these flippers are very important for the way that sea lions move on land. And she is able to bring it back up onto the bridge and up onto her stand as well, keeping it balanced overall, using her whiskers and her... Sons are not at home, are they? No, they were all downstairs. <coughs> I think this is the driest it's been all yes. morning. Oh, it's slippery on here, like a slippery slope. Perfect weather for geese down there. Ducks will be looking at it. So that was the orangutan cage, and there were not much to be seen, were there really? Some downstairs. Yeah. Big cats and meerkats up here. Yeah. Up here. It is nice grounds here. I bet it's, it's lovely. lovely when it's uh, not a monsoon. Yes. <laughs> 
These are TT monkeys. TK monkeys? Yes. Wow, they're very small, aren't they? There's a little, really little baby one down there. This must have had babies in here. Ah, oh, hello. Wonder why these animals are out in rain. Oh, having a big pool in water. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't think Chattagang needs to know about my pulling habits. Can you imagine if it did come to bite you? Ooh, what would you do if that come running to you to bite you? <laughs> Shit, me son. And here we are as Tapia, but it don't look like Tapia's at home, does it? Let's hunt for the tapir. Oh, oh, it does say that they live in uh, wetlands. This one does, and today. moist swamp forests. Is it moist? It's not moist today, is it? <laughs> it's ringing moist. <laughs> and spot the tapir, anybody? No, I... Uh... Chat again, can anybody spot the tapir? Oh, it's like a bloody mud bath. No. Right, let's go and find big cats. Next stop, we've got uh, the giraffe heights, so let's go up and see giraffes. I don't think giraffes will be out today, will they? Yeah, me a tiger. Only in the middle there. Uh... 
Oh, if you're going to be able to see these chatting yeah. on, but they've got like a little uh, beard on them. <laughs> like little bear monkeys. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it's not consuming. He does look like this is stuck on beard, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I don't think it is. Hello, peacock. I think it just sent out a tail, was it? Go and say hello to it, Tim. I don't want to Oh, it's one there, though. I'm scared. I don't want to scare you. It does say the freely, uh, peacocks just freely walk round yeah, down here, and don't be scared of them. And Tim's got an awesome, awesome umbrella, especially for zoo. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're going down to elephant camp. This is exciting. And uh, we've got a, a Thai Indian street cafe here, but it's closed. Just walking the water buffalo back soon. This looks like a nice eating area when it's open. I'm scared of it, Colin. No, but when it ruffles its feathers, when it's going to ruffle its feathers, you are. Come on, do it. No. As you can see, Chattergang, uh, this is the base camp, which is the uh, elephant enclosure. And even them, even elephants are not coming out and monsoon today so we'll go and see if we can see them inside for you it smells very fresh in here oh wow wow that is nice seeing them so close up Smells fresh in here, Tim. Oh, it's enough to make your eyes water, doesn't it? Mmm. Ah, oh, they both look beautiful, don't they? Oh, so. Snack. I know there's a flip side to uh, zoos and people's opinions of them, but in all fairness, it looks like they've got good facilities here. They don't look too bad, do they? And at the end of the day, they do a lot for conservation zoos as well. Did you like the elephants, Tim? Yes, the elephants. Mm. We'll look forward to seeing them in uh, Thailand a bit closer up, hopefully. Oh, yes, yes, because these are Asian elephants, they'll be the same sort of have you seen anything that takes your fancy in shop, uh, Tim? Uh, not really, no. There's lots of nice little uh, cuddly toys, but uh, nothing permanently, I don't know. Just to let you know, Chatter Gang, that we found out on the bus. The buses are every 40 minutes from the tower. And the last bus, bus back from the zoo back into town is at 5.40 in the afternoon. We won't want you getting trapped at the zoo. Well, that's a very quick visit to a very wet Blackpool Zoo. It's absolutely pouring, but we promise you, uh, Chattergang, we'll come back when it's better weather because it is lovely, isn't it?
Yeah, I'm so, sure it will be on a, on a nice day, yeah. We'll come back. If you do like the video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss out on any of our future videos, please subscribe because it will cost you absolutely, absolutely now. Thanks for watching, Chatter Gang. We'll catch you on the next one when we've dried out. <laughs> we will. Bye. Bye-bye. Wow. Whoa!